industry and in yes. the combat sports industry. So, you know, I know a lot of the guys that, you know, were there, the officials and the commission and, you know, refs and all them. So, you know, I was chopping it up with a couple of my buddies, you know, what, four fights in and we were, what, at like eight o'clock? And they were like, <laughs> man, this is the easy ass night. We're making easy, quick money. I was like... <laughs> I was a little jealous that I wasn't there personally making some of that easy ass money with him because I was like, damn. I was like, they, like, I think for their next event, they they need to shoot for some more fights and probably some more quality um, matchups. Yes, um, get some alternates in there, man. I think that I think that'll really help. Um, as far as Nico goes. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, been hating on him, like especially here in like Wichita, and I don't, and I don't really understand that. Like this kid went to Rio, he won a damn Olympic medal, and he's coming back, and he's trying to just, you know, he's trying. Boxing is a dying ass sport, man, and for this kid to like come back and you know try to make his make a way for himself in you know boxing and you know to not only make a way for himself and a living but to do it for a city it kind of sucks to see that a lot of people don't support him and shit and it sucks and i know he's just starting out and you know people were like uh he's fighting scrubs and like that's where you have to start as a fucking boxer you don't start fucking you don't start off fighting fucking floyd mayweather and oscar de la hoya you gotta fight these you gotta fight these el toritos and these motherfucking brooklyn brawler bums and like you gotta fucking start somewhere bro you can't just start at the motherfucking top like you know if you know he might get to where he's on HBO boxing or, you know, uh, prime time and, you know, fight for a legit belt eventually. You know, hopefully, you know, I'd love to see that for Nico, man. As far as him, like last night, he looked a lot faster, a lot quicker from like his last fight. Um, he looked a lot stronger and shit. And like, you could just see like Nico's fast as hell. And like that kid, that El Torito boy, whoever they, I mean, I know he was a last minute f spot filler, but you know, he came out with some heart and shit, and he was like, man, and you know, that gotta be hard and shit, because you know, you could tell how dry the crowd was. Well, the crowd wasn't really dry, because some, a lot of the fights were pretty fucking good last night, actually. Jeff Strum, like, he put paws on that boy from Topeka, boy. He beat, <laughs> boy, he, he beat all the ribs out that boy body. I was like, God. Damn, son, that shit had my stomach hurt, and I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> but I mean, as far as like the whole night and the flow of action and shit, and with it not being live televised, you know, I think that you know they did pretty good for that, even though it did start like you know thirty minutes like later than it was supposed to. But you know, that's how a lot of shit goes. But it wasn't really a big deal. But I think. KO Night Boxing or whoever's promoting for Nico and his family and shit. You know, I really think, and I, I heard a lot of people say, dude, I didn't even know this was happening. So if you didn't know that it was happening back in December and then that it got rescheduled to February, like, yeah. what fucking rock are you living under? We live in Wichita, <laughs> Kansas. It's not that much shit going on. Like, follow Hartman's fucking page on Facebook. Like, uh, they tell you. Like, shit, they be desperate for motherfuckers and shit. And that's what kills me. <laughs> So, like, they want you to come out, but, like, I don't think they do advertising right for the shit or whatever. Like, I mean, the uh, price they, was good, too. Themselves. That's probably what it is. It's, it's a lot of the advertising. I'm a promoter, so I, I, I definitely know what it feels like to, to promote yeah. the right way. So if nobody's there... Then that means that they didn't promote right because it is what you're talking about. Yeah, like, and, you're right. and that and that's the and that's the thing. And you know, and I heard a couple of you know a little birdies, you know, saying that you know the Hernandez team was thinking about like getting Nico into the Interest Bank Arena. Yeah, hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. I fucking love Nico. Like he's a North High Redskin graduate, like I am. He's an alumni. I love. I love that we have that in common. I am a big ass Nico fan. He is not fucking selling out Interest Bank Arena right now <laughs> or any in the near future. I'm I mean, not. I'm it, not bullshitting. It, the Wichita just don't support like that. I'm telling you. I'm. Really I'm don't. fucking dead serious. Even if Jeff Strum or Jeff Page got super big and hot and shit, they couldn't even sell out Interest Bank Arena and shit. People don't support shit like that, and they're really not going to support boxing like that at Interest Bank Arena. As much as they might think it will happen, it's not going to fucking happen. 
Not unless he's literally fighting like a Triple G or a fucking Canelo <laughs> or some <laughs> shit right. like that. Then, yeah, the motherfucking arena will sell out and shit. But if it's just like another fucking Victor L. Uh, Taco Sanchez out of motherfucking <laughs> Copperville, Bro, California. Uh, that Taco. shit's not happening. And that's just Copperville, like. California. So basically, to all the people listening, you should go out to the next fight he does. <laughs> Please go fucking support Nico. Fucking put on for your city. This fucking kid loves fucking Wichita, and he loves his town. Nice kid, yeah. And he's fucking like the boy got it tattooed on him all over his fucking body. He loves Wichita, and I think fucking Wichita needs to love him back, man. Like he's he's doing this. You're you know, right. Not only to make a living, but he's doing it for the love of the city. Like everywhere he goes, he's like Wichita this, Wichita that, Wichita this, Wichita that. God damn, Wichita, show the boy some love. <laughs> He went, and, he went and won us a damn Olympic medal. Shit, it's a whole... I, my fat ass ain't no damn Olympic medalist. I ain't winning no damn medal. <laughs> I told you, Nagy, Big, Big Will Unleashed is... is. Hey, <laughs> once he starts going, it's, hey, Big it's Will, it. Fo- hey, Big Will, follow, follow me. Hey, follow me um, like, so we can go ahead and talk. The, <laughs> I I will connect you with Big Will. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm a I'm a big prom- I'm just a promotion guy. Like I like promoting for people. Like I like doing that. Like I like helping people out. And the fact that he is doing what he's doing, like we can go ahead and I like that. And oh I, yeah. I'm a hype man already. Anyway, so you already know me. <laughs> well, for me, like it, I, when 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 they create when you look up the term hype man. In the dictionary, Big Will's picture's right next to it. Okay. <laughs> man, I've been, I've been, man, I've been, hey. Hey, there's hey, there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking haters in the world, and like there's oh, a lot me. of people oh, that don't like to see other people. Really, I tell is, my bro. I tell my homies all the time, man. Like when good shit happens for them, man, I'll be so juiced for people, man. When I see people succeed and make their way, like last night after I got home from the Nico fights, man, I couldn't wait to fucking hop online so I could you know check out the C three fights down in uh, First Council and oh, check yeah. out Cody Carrillo and Chris Harris fighting and shit. Man, those are my boys, and so I love to see other people succeed, man. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way for Chris Harris. Cody Carrillo, he got the big win, and he was the underdog. They put his ass in there with a damn young stud and Cody knocked his ass out, bro. It was great, man. I love to see people <laughs> succeed, man. And I wish there was hey. more people like that. It's always motherfuckers praying for other people's downfalls in life. Man, life is too short for that bullshit. And I don't think that it's right that, you know, other people spend so much time dwelling on, like, hating on people and shit. Man, focus on you. Focus on the people around you and build people up and trying to make some instead of fucking always hating and be on that bullshit man you never know life ain't promised to nobody shit we can see that with our homie that just passed away Fuck a couple yeah. weeks ago in polar and shit man this man was 38 years old you cannot take life for fucking granted because one day you hear next day you might be fucking gone and your family planning a funeral and shit life is too short for the hate but speaking of hate Let's talk about Kevin. Let's talk about this motherfucker, Kevin Champion. <laughs> oh my God! Here we go. I gotta, I gotta get up on my boxing. I, I want to box. Actually. I really want to box. So I really need to link up with a lot of you got a lot of boxing people out here. Andy Zerger, man. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't that's, know where it's at. But that's really, the homie. I really do want to get back into I'm my boxing. Like, game. Like be going against Nico. Uh, go, go nah, link, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna box box. I just want to do it just to. Uh, <laughs> Well, well, let's let's hit it. Kevin Champion.